guys, my name is Tani Potsevich and welcome back to the Totally Pickle Makeup Channel. So the look I've created today was inspired by beautiful girl Emily from the Netflix show Emily in Paris. You may find this show interesting and romantic or silly and boring, it's up to you, but one thing we all agree to. Lily Collins is incredibly beautiful and stylish. And I bet my life that after seeing her playing Emily in the show, a lot of you wanted to look like her, especially those eyebrows. So guys, if you like Emily's style, push the thumb up right here and right now. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let's not waste the time and get into Emily in Paris makeup look. So I'm starting our creation of Emily in Paris makeup look with a good skin moisturizing and lips preparation. As for the foundation, I'm going to use the lighter than my skin tone product because Emily has fair complexion without a hint of any tanning. Next I'm using a light concealer as well, popping it into a V-shape and blending it out to reach good covering and dimension on the face. I'm setting the concealer on under the eyes areas, because concealers do have a tendency to crease in wrinkles. And setting a liquid product by a dry one always helps to avoid it. A little to the forehead and moving on to the contouring. First I'm going to apply a liquid product of a nice cool color. Tapping it into the skin, starting from the place where you plan to have the most intensive color and blending this color out to the places of shading. Then go setting the color with the dry products. Notice that the direction I'm blending it is to the center of the face. A little of blush of a cool color and highlighter of a delicate shimmering color. Next comes the most interesting part of my tutorial, the creation of Emily's eyebrows. As you can see, I don't have bushy eyebrows, moreover, one of them definitely has a problem. And in this case, we're gonna use the following technique. First, comb the hairs up with the soap or gel fixator. Instead of eyebrow pencil, take a cold pencil, which will be quite soft. It means that it will be easy for blending and it will bring us a nice longevity. Mine is from Sephora, highly recommended. Indent one centimeter from the beginning of the eyebrow and start to draw the form. Then take a small round synthetic brush and blend all the pencil lines, filling this untouched brow space from the beginning. And repeat the technique till you will reach the form of the eyebrows you want. Draw a little and blend. Draw a little and blend. Remember, it's not an eyebrow pencil, it's a cold one. That is why you cannot first draw the eyebrow itself and blend it. You're supposed to divide the process into some steps. Looks quite natural already. And in some eyebrow shadows for more natural look. And moving on to the eyes. The same product from Sephora I was using for the face correction and now I'm applying it to the upper and the lower eyelids. Soft pink color was more than blending the eyeshadows. And with the help of tiny sharp brush, I'm emphasizing the lash line. Then 
the lashes. I'm using individuals here. They always look much more natural than lash bands. And applying the mascara. As for the lips, they will be of a dark burgundy color. And this is the final Emily in Paris makeup look. Thank you for watching, dear friends, and thanks to my lovely husband for fixing my hairstyle. Stay healthy and see you in my next one.